Are you like me and you like to close every single eating window with something sweet, even if you're not hungry enough for a full serving of dessert? I love eating one meal a day, and you guys know I often end my eating window with something delicious, decadent, whether it's a large ice cream cone or a piece of pie, but sometimes I just want a little cherry on top of my OMAD, and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite small sweets to end my eating window with. Right off the bat, we're gonna go Olive Garden. Andy's mints are only 25 calories each. I like that they're individually wrapped and it's super simple to just pop this in your mouth. And then not only do you get the sweet and the creamy of the chocolate, but you kind of have like a minty aftertaste, which to me is a great signifier of end of eating window. It's like brushing your teeth. You have a little mintiness, end of eating window, whether you have one or two of these, 25, 50 calories, it's just like Olive Garden. It's a great end to an eating window, and I like that they're individually wrapped. I'm not tempted to open a giant bar of chocolate and force myself to quit. You have a little individually wrapped treat just there for you. I love keeping these in our candy dish. They're very simple to grab and add at the end of an eating window. This one you guys have probably seen more than any other, the gummy bear. This single packet has 45 calories. It's grab and go. Once I open it, I can eat the entire thing, throw the package out, and then I don't worry about how much stopping, limiting myself. And you guys know on a normal basis, I don't actually count calories or really think about it. I try very much to be satisfied, but not overly stuffed and enjoy what I'm eating. But little packets like this make it super simple. So if I have a very delicious entree in my meal and I don't really want dessert, but I want something sweet, this is my absolute favorite, a gummy bear pack. I don't know about you, but I'm not one that can eat chia seed pudding and consider that a dessert. Is it good? Yes, I actually do like chia seed pudding, but I'm not someone that can make fake desserts and consider it a dessert. I then will still want a dessert. So I share that because when I say that I love this whole milk coconut yogurt from Aldi as a dessert, I'm not lying. I love these and I do make them into giant bowls. I'll put everything from unsweetened coconut and chia seeds and pepitas and honey or peanut butter, Banana, I love all the toppings, but if I'm not looking for something large, I'll have a single one of these with blueberries on top. Now this does have, now this has 140 calories, add some blueberries, you're still gonna be under 200, it's still small, but this is extremely filling and it has a lot of protein in it. And as I mentioned, I'm not someone that will use a fake dessert to convince myself I had dessert, but this is good enough that it actually counts for me. This next one I don't always have on hand, but I do like to grab them when I see them. Individually wrapped mochi. So these My Mochis come individually wrapped. They're about 90 calories each. I think some have 80, some have 100. Bonus, no one in my family likes these except for me, but I like the individual ones because I don't have to open a case of six of them when I only want one on occasion. One thing that I really like about these is I love the powdery outside and the pillow with the ice cream in the middle. It's actually very texturally something that I enjoy, which is what my kids don't like about it. That's what I love about these. I think it's interesting to eat, I like the textures, and it's the perfect like bite when you're looking for something that's small but sweet. I do really like these. Because I change my eating window so frequently, I like these individual packets. I don't have the obligation of eating six of them in a closed time period because I open it, or more likely eating three of them in two different eating windows. You know what I'm saying? Individual is easy and the way to go. Now this next one, you're probably gonna send me some hate for, but I don't care because you know what? I'm sharing with you what I really like. First, a diet can a pop. I do really like root beer or diet Dr. Pepper. And then a shot of vodka or rum, I like them both. So zero calories with the pop. A shot of this vanilla Smirnoff has 78 calories. So together it's under 100 calories. I get the artificial sweetness of the diet pop. I get the flavoring from whatever vodka I choose, but I really like the whipped cream or the vanilla mixed with a cola of some variety. I also really like there's a sliced apple rum. A shot of that is 100 calories mixed with a diet beverage together. It's sweet. I like that it's a great window closer for me, a nightcap of sorts. And honestly, it's not something I do all the time, but I do enjoy it when I do. And finally, as we're in summer months, popsicles. Now this coffee boba ice cream bar is literally one of my favorites. I used to buy these at Costco. You would buy a case of them, which had like four boxes of four in them, and they were very inexpensive. My Costco doesn't carry them anymore. If yours does, you're lucky 
but these have 160 calories. It's not super low cal, but it's not the same as eating a crumble cookie. However, it's extremely satisfying. I love the coffee flavors, the creaminess. I love the boba in here. It actually has a really pleasant texture, even in popsicle form. Another bonus, this is another thing that my kids don't eat, so I don't have to share them. I can keep a box of four of these in my freezer and I just have access to them when I want them. Again, I change up my eating window so frequently. I don't do any of these on a regular basis, but they're nice to have on hand. I bought this at our local Asian market called Pacific Rim. They sell them there. They're a couple dollars a piece, but they're really nice to have on hand. Now, do you need this one? No, you can buy regular popsicles. You can buy creamsicles. There are so many different ice cream bars. However, this is just my personal favorite. I wouldn't gravitate towards a fruity popsicle, but this is something I would grab for to get that sweetness to close my eating window. I wanna know what is your favorite small sweet treat to add to the end of an eating window when you don't quite have room for dessert, but you want something sweet. Let me know in the comments. I'd love new ideas. And if you want to know why I don't fret about if my treat is small or if I do have that large crumble cookie and my very simple approach to OMAD intermittent fasting, you can check out this video right here. It talks all about eating one meal a day, allowing myself to have everything from appetizer, entree to dessert, whatever is satisfying in that day. You can see all the details and get more information right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, down and ciao.